So, in the Reddit, someone was asking how you can put mods that are only on Bethnet to Nexus Mod Manager. It's fairly simple. Uh, I've typed it out here, but I'm going to show you how to do it on video. Mods usually consists of one to three files. The main file is ESP or ESM. And then there's a main BA2, which is meshes, music, sounds. Uh, what else can it be? Materials, scripts, and then there's textures B2A, which uh, has all the textures. Yes, yes, Reddit, I know you want to talk to me. Um, what you need to do is you need to find the files under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4 data. This is where all the mod cup files go. Uh, and while they are here in this folder, they will show up in Plugins tab in Next Mod Manager. Uh, how you can get those files is by... Let's use this because it has uh, all those three files. Come on, you can do it! You piece of shit. It doesn't help that Bethnet is being a retard. Come on! Show the fucking file. There we go. You add it to your library. You go in game. You drink coffee. Enjoy my new uh, 1440p huge monitor resolution thingy. Gloriousness. Uh, now we have added the thing here in the mods menu you well sorry I downloaded earlier to test so you download it once it's in your library and what you can see now is that it's uh, here find the mod name sometimes it's a bit cryptic so it takes some figuring out but it's this one. As you see, there's now three files here. Uh, you can, you need to put them in a compressed folder or file. You can use 7-zip, 7-zip, or uh, you can put it to RAR file, or send it to compressed folder through Windows context menus. I'm going to use zzip, zzip, 7-zip. Add to archive. Enclave. I can't spell that fucking much. There we go. Now what I have, I'm gonna cut these. I have a temp folder in data files where I put all the extra files that I want to keep safe, but uh, not necessarily delete or have it under data so they show up on Nest Font Manager because I'm minimalist and OCD and neat free. I put them here. Oh, you can't do them because they're opening for load. Let's close the game. Alt F4. Out of the game, moving files. So now they're safe in my backup folder. Uh, the zip should be here. I'm gonna move it out of there as well because I like to keep my data files nice and neat. Uh, now it's been compressed into a zip file. You add it in the mods tab in next mod manager. Ta da! Sorry, this is from testing over there. Yes, yes, get the fuck, fuck, fuck. Come, would you Would you mind deleting it? Thank you. How hard can it be? There we go. This is the file. If you have a zip, you don't even have to make any folders. It will understand that the ESP is there and it will put it in the right place. So let's check. Uh, before you install it through here, just to be sure, uh, disable it in the in-game menu, the, the one for Fallout, the mods menu. Remove it from your library, because you don't need it anymore, and if you, if you leave it up there and you go to the mods menu again, it might update. So, just to be sure, remove it from there. So, as you can see, I don't have the enclave files here. Now I'm going to double click this to activate, it says it's complete, there we go, my cat is insane, 
and it has appeared here again. Now you can uh, enable and disable it through Nexus Mod Manager. That's it. Hope you found this helpful. Leave a comment if you have any other questions, if you have any other ideas for videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Sana sa moika. Kisa vauva. You're such a bitch. Okay, ending video now.